Welcome to Dr. Othan Talks with us. Today we are going to have a very interesting session on rise and fall of stock market from last three decades and especially stock market Perudala Mari Patanam Katha Mood the Shabdala Nichi Evidanga Jarut Market Law. A real life experienced person from Chennai Stock Exchange, Sri Venkata Subramani, is going to share with us from Chennai. It is a very important session, live experience, and today we are because we are going to focus on. And today's session, mainly we are discussing on, especially the stock market, the last eight decades experience. Mukhyanga Chalamandi, this is most of the people are asking us, you know, we, love, we have burnt our name our fingers number of times and uh, without this can't be exchange so please give us actually what is this scams why this scams takes place you learn the scams but they turn their to make a party you can put them in the other town with the government while you're going to share this with our car in 1992 to look at the bottom of the apple law one of the girls here so like satyam others also they suffer a lot so, the rise and fall of stock market in the year of 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 the Yes, I mean, Venkat Subramanyam is actually having three decades of experience, a real life experience. And he is also thinking that, you know, how really we can share the information to the a common man, a middle, middle, middle level uh, people or, you know, individuals, you know, how they can. And like Arshad Mehta, you know, the bags of rupees and crores of rupees, you know, the scam has taken place. When the court has given what type of punishments and what is happening. Unfortunately, some of the government bank chairmen also involved at that time. And what lessons we can learn from this? In the petty bit, the Tarakalu, Unat Terrestan, Dandi Prabutar and the Samsara Bank, who already the involvement at Terrestan, the Kabati, Iranti, Patanali, Karna Lenti, Yoka Patanal Garaman, Red Scholes in Indi, Yoka Din, Iranti, Bagun, Mansur Betkuni, Asal to Stock Market Club Bets and Namas Nastama, they could take a very within the evening as a share chase corner. Mem nineteen ninety one and Apartment in him. Charamandi Kabe Nest Karakun this Kochamandi. Don't put all the money men look sutra mundi. Don't put all eggs in one basket. Okay, that's right. You got a double okay, but two con the Bowner Mida, con the Hilkatch of Lands Mida, con the gold mida, con the shares mida, con the pixel bar mida, con the light cash pet color and chapter one day. So you put you have a two years, three decades of experience, stock market, the Kabati, stock market point of hero. My double and tower padremo than Yavidanga on a copper call and chapter. So, what did you like in the day? So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And please forward to all the people those are having it can be a small person, you know, like individuals who can invest about 10,000 rupees or who can invest in one lakh up to one crore. Please share this. Uh, session is very very interesting you not get the experience in people sharing lively coming on the screen okay so okay he's also any he's also joining now sir no i'm yes, assisting sir just assisting him for you okay okay hi mr agram how are you sir fine, fine, fine sir fine. namaskar Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are very happy, sir. Dr. Raghavan actually introduced you. And we are luckily we are having about three decades of experience person in stock market. It's very difficult to get such persons actually. Because live experience people are not having. Only bookish knowledge people are having. That is the only problem with the other, other people. And uh, today we are going to have a very interesting session by... Pauli uh, Yes, sir. Mani sahab, actually you can, you can introduce yourself sir, actually we welcome to Dr. Ratan Talks and other day Dr. Yeah. Raghuraman has given very live experience of his own from uh, yeah. three decades of experience from, uh, from marketing to international uh, trainer, he is a professor and he has introduced Mr. Mani, Mani is having nearly three decades of experience, it is very fortunate for the viewers to have a real life experience because most of the people are asking sir for number of years sir this stock market means in always open niche hota rehta hai you know about how to overcome this problem they're asking so we are going to have a live session today and we have planned this session 
uh, you know, very systematically we have planned this session and especially gold, silver, or in real estate, or maybe in any banks fixed deposits. These are all one type of investment. When you invest your capital or your money by buying a company shares and becoming a shareholder of that particular company, that investment is called as capital market investment and that market is called as a stock market. If you invest your money in any company shares and those shares, if they are listed in the stock exchanges in India, that market is called as stock market or we also call them as a capital market. And in stock market, we have two different types. One is called as primary market and the other one is called as secondary market. Now let us understand what is primary market. How it starts? A group of friends, maybe four friends, five friends together, they start one business. They will make their initial investments within their capacity and their business will progress for one year, two year, three year. By the three years time, the company would have made some good business volume and they would also make some small profits. And they require any business, they require money. Always what they require is capital. At that point of time, they may require additional capital in order to expand their business. Or they may try to go into another areas which is not being exploited by them. For that, they require capital or money. That point of time, they will approach one particular investors called as private equity investors. In short, they are called as PE investors. They will invest those group of investors for a meeting and project their company's performance the last three years and that what is going to be performance in the next few years, five years, ten years down the line. They will give a complete history about the company, everything. If the investors are satisfied with such a proposal, then those investors will invest in that company. They are called as private equity investors. After approaching private equity investors, maybe after four years, five years, six years, still they require more money. The company has started doing well, more profits. And that type of time, what they do, instead of putting their own money, they will go to the general public. They will apply for registration from SEBI. So many approvals are there. Once that approval is through, they will hit the market. That market is called as a primary market or we call them as IPO, Initial Public Offer. So they will advertise in the paper, channels, everything. We are coming out with public issue. They will fix some price for that. And they will give you around, uh, depending on the capital requirement, they will try to give this one close shares or two close shares, whatever is it. And uh, allotment will be there. Then they will go to public. And public will invest their money and get their allotment. Suppose the company wants to give only one close of shares. Suppose the company is performing very well, more and more uh, investors would like to participate. So they will apply for IPO and in IPO, they may not get allotment because the company wants only to give shares only for one crore people means suppose the demand is 10 crore or maybe 100 crores, then the company may not be able to satisfy all of them. So the allotment will be given only at the basis of their uh, requirement. Then the other friends who did not get allotment in IPO, they will buy it in the secondary market. What is secondary market? Once the primary market is over, this stock will get listed in stock exchanges like NSE, BSE, as far as India is concerned. So the people who could not get allotment in IPO, they will get the same share in secondary market by paying premium. 
I will give a small example, sir. Of course, Chennai is known for uh, superstar Rajinikanth. Yes. So Rajinikanth movie is released one particular Diwali, and online booking will start. The theater will have a capacity of only thousand audiences. Only thousand audiences will get online booking. Balance will not get. But still, there are some ardent fan who wants to see Rajinikanth movie on the first day itself. So they will go to a theater. People who already got allotment, they say, "Okay, I bought for under rupees. Let me sell it for four hundred rupees, five hundred rupees. Let me pocket. Maybe after one month, two month, I will see the same movie by pay under rupees." So those people which start selling in the theater, people who are very uh, adamant, they will buy the ticket for five hundred rupees and see the movie. Yes. If you buy at the counter, it is under rupees. The same ticket for the same day show. If you buy it in the outside theater, you are paying five rupees. What you are buying from online booking is primary market, and what you are going to theater and paying premium is called as secondary market. So these are two types of market: primary market and secondary market. People who did not get allotment in primary market, they will go to secondary market and buy it from the. Recognized stock exchanges. So this is primary and secondary market. And third one is how the share prices are fixed by the promoters. This is a very good point. The share promoters will take the help of merchant bankers. So the merchant bankers will do due diligence of the entire company's prospects, their earning potential. The earning capacity, all those complete details, they will work out, and they will arrive at a price, say ten rupees. At the same time, they will also see how the competitor's price is going in the secondary market. Before these people coming to primary market, most of the company who are the same business, they will be the secondary market listed in the stock exchanges. So they will take. They will also take the idea from how those shares are listed, how those shares are going up. So based on this, they have got some due diligence and they fix a price. Say my share is worth for under rupees, or my share is worth for under fifty p. That they will keep as the IPO price. After keeping the IPO price, the company says I require around under crores of money. To to get under crores of money. How many shares they require? That shares number of shares will be come in the primary market. Suppose a share price is under rupees, the company wants to mobilize say thousand rupees. So he will give only ten shares in the open market. He will give only ten. What is the capital is requires, and what is the price of each share? That. Divide by, he will get you the number of shares. Only those number of shares he will allow in the IPO market. That is initial public offer. This is this is how the company will fix the price. Sometimes the investors what they do once they see the prospects of the company, their earnings growth, everything. Some investor they say at this price I did not apply. It's not worth like that. If that happens, some IPO. May not be successful. They will get subscribed to eighty percent or ninety percent. But there are certain uh, public issues which are which are which is appealing to so many investors. So so many investors will stand in the queue and apply for it. That time the subscription may be five times, ten times, twenty times. Recently, uh, one uh, on uh, data analytics company came to the primary market. It was oversubscribed by. 145 times, 145 times. Oh, that means there is so demand for the company. The company name is called Latent View Analytics. So, like that, some uh, some companies may not get any uh, offer at all because the investor will find okay at this price, I don't want to buy the stock. Let me wait. Let the price come down. That time I will buy. This is how the price is fixed by the promoter. Sometimes they also keep very exorbitant price. And sometimes they get they keep a very value price. Sometimes they also keep under the value price. It all depends upon the promoters and the guidance given by the merchant bankers. 
This is how the promoters will fix a price of a stock when they come to public. And when the shares are being held by few people like promoters, private equity investors, that company is called as we call them as a closely held company. Closely held company. And once when they go to the pri uh, uh, primary market, when so many investors come and participate as a shareholder of a company, that company is, we call them as a widely held company. First one is closely held company where few group of investors are there. When so many shareholders are there, when so many public have taken part in the company's pro, uh, prospect, then we call them as a widely held company. One is closely held company, other one is the widely held companies. Friends, are you clear? The whatever uh, few points I talked now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very clear. Uh, any question you, you can ask me now, or maybe uh, after finishing the entire agenda, we can spend around uh, 10 to 15 minutes where you can ask your questions sir, and whatever uh, thing sir, knowledge question. I have, I try sir, to answer question, you. Sir, sir, one question, sir. You have yeah. given the example of Rajini Khan, the movie. Rajini Khan, the movie, somebody at the theater, they'll come there for 100 rupees, they'll buy outside for 400 or 500 rupees. But that is a black market. It is prohibited. Suppose, suppose police comes to me, they will also take action on us. No, I, I, I just gave it. No, it is not the same thing. Secondary market. No, 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 not like this. See, you are you are buying only from the recognized stock exchanges. Okay, okay. See, when you buy the stock market from the uh, Bombay Stock Exchange or uh, National Stock Exchange, you are buying from a recognized stock exchange, and then it is a uh, good buy. See, why I am comparing with uh, that movie? I know what they buy from the because people are so adamant they want to see Rajinikan movie. Similarly, there are investors. I want to buy the say for example Zomato. I'll give a classical example. Zomato. Yes. The issue price was only seventy five rupees. It opened in ninety rupees. And more and more people wanted to buy Zomato, 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 Zomato. The share price went up to 160 rupees. Yes, on the same day. The same Zomato now is available for uh, 70 rupees. That is the price that got listed. Yes, sir. So I gave an example. People are so crazy to buy the stock. Okay. okay. Similarly, that uh, ardent Rajinikan fan, they want to see the movie on the first day of Diwali. So they are prepared to pay premium. What I mean to compare it, they are, pay, they are prepared to pay premium and buy the, uh, see the movie. Similarly, if they don't get allotment in the primary market, they pay premium and buy it in the secondary market. That means the investors wanted to give the premium because of the promoter's background and the company performance, the brand value. Yeah, oh, obviously, obviously, obviously. And uh, not only that, it's all because of craziness of the investors. Yes, okay. Okay. See, Zomato for nothing, it went up to 160 rupees. Yes. And there's absolutely no change in the fundamental. Today, the, today the same share is available for 75 rupees. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all because so, say, same thing, sir. After one month, uh, if you go to the same theater, there won't be no audience to see Rajinath movie. Yes, yes, yes. Similar situation. Uh, why I'm talking about Zomato, that one stock had a, fr a frenzied uh, investors bought Zomato, 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 as if nothing is there tomorrow. Yes, yes. Okay. Any question, sir? No, 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 we can further proceed, you can proceed, proceed. Okay. Now, let us come to the uh, next topic. Uh, what is a bullish market? What is a bearish market? I'll give a uh, live example. During Corona period, that is March 2020, when the Corona news first came, our Nifty, that is NSE stock exchange point was 7,500. Sometime by third week of March, if I'm correct. Yes. Then from that level, our Nifty went, went up to 18,600 points in September 2021. The entire period, Every day, every week, every month, the share price was going up, going up, going up, going up. The entire one and a half years, the share price had only one movement. That movement is called as upward movement. When your share price keeps on going, 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 that phase, we call them as a 
bullish phase. Any so every one any percentage in increase or bullish market means any percentage has to increase on the price. Depends, depends. For example, from Corona seven thousand five hundred, our Nifty went to eighteen thousand six hundred. Almost it try travel somewhere near uh, almost two times, okay. almost two and a half times. Okay, okay. It all depends. There's nothing like that. See what is bullish market? The sharp price keep on going, 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 going. The sharp price will see only one movement. Any minimum percentage, sir. Minimum percentage will be ten percent, twelve percent. No, not exactly. Just not. There's no percentage. Suppose uh, the sharp price goes up by ten percent or twenty percent, still it is a bull market. Okay. The sharp price goes up by thirty percent, still it is a bull market. Okay. You the bullish bullish market, your sharp price will have only one movement. That's called upward movement. Okay. That phase we call them as a bullish phase. What has happened? After reaching September two thousand twenty-one, that is eighteen thousand six hundred, the market slowly start drifting down. Okay. Now the Nifty is somewhere near seventeen thousand two hundred. This phase we call the Masia sideways market. Okay. It is not a bearish. It is not a bullish market. It is a sideways market. What happens during this period? The sharp price may go by two rupees, five rupees. Next day, it will come down by two rupees or five rupees. So the prices will be always static. There will not be any big upward movement in the stock prices. It will be static. Suppose you are buying a company like India Cement for two hundred and ten rupees. Even after one month, the price will be either two hundred and eight or it may be two hundred and twelve. The price is almost static. That is this market we call the as a sideways market. What today India is experiencing after such a major rise? Now we are giving living in the sideways market. And the next market, suppose the Nifty is now around seventeen thousand two hundred. Because of so many news, the Nifty falls say around sixteen thousand or fifteen thousand. That market we call them as a bearish market. In bearish market, the stock price will keep on coming down, coming down, coming down. We will have only one movement that we call them as a downward movement. During bull market, we will see upward movement, and during sideways market, we will see neither upward movement nor downward movement. The price will be static. And the next market is we call them as a bearish market, where your stock prices will always coming down, coming down, coming down. Say, for example, India Cement, if it is two hundred and ten rupees, it will come to two not five. It will come to one ninety five. It will come to one eighty. It will come to one seventy five. It will come to one sixty. You are continuously seeing the prices dropping. This market we call them as a bearish market. Upward movement, we call them as a bullish market. When there is no movement, when the entire thing is a static, we call them as a sideways market. When the stock market prices start coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, we call them as a bearish market. <coughs> then, then now we will come to the exact how the stock market has moved. In the last thirty years, because I am in the stock market since nineteen ninety, I almost, as rightly said by the chairman, I al almost have thirty years of experience in the stock market. What is the beauty of the stock market is in in nineteen ninety, that point of time we did not have national stock exchange. We have only Bombay stock exchange, and Bombay BSE Sensex was somewhere near thousand point. In 1990, in 2021 September, we reached a peak of 60,000. So, from the level of thousand points in 1990, our stock market traveled 60,000 in 2021. In other words, the stock market has traveled 60 times in just 30 years. If you calculate, every year the stock market has doubled, has doubled. 
so the stock market has seen 60 times more but what is very very important during this 30 years phase market has seen four major corrections four major correction the first correction came during the famous ashad mehta scam the market fell almost 60% or even 70% or some stocks they even uh, lost or 100% that was the first correction to my knowledge because i am in this market only for 30 years as far as i know yes, that is the first major correction we saw in 1991 that is because of ashok mehta can you highlight more on ashok mehta sir no no let me talk, let me talk not, let me not talk about individual sir please okay it is not fair on me okay okay next uh, thing was it happened during uh, ketan pare we call them as a kp that point of time all these dot com company were going up like anything company like silver line from 9 rupees went to 1300 rupees company like squidy software from 6 rupees it went up to 3500 rupees that time that bubble burst and all the dot com shares fell like nine pins that was another big correction we had in 2001 that is we call them as a ketan pare and share prices drop almost by 60% 70% and some share prices they have gone out of the market like company silver lines quite so many companies they have lo- lost the market they are no more in the market that is the second correction i have seen sir and the third correction what we saw in 2008 god that has got nothing to do with the indian uh, issues this is purely because of legerman brothers crisis in the us market financial crisis you all know most of the banks were uh, closed so many things happened that implication we had in india also we also saw a major crash in the market in 2008 and next to big crash what we saw recently was this 2020 covid crash when the market fell from the level of 12400 to 7500 that was a low we saw in march 2020 that is because of corona what you observe from this every 10 years there is a big fall in the market every 10 years first fall we saw in 1981 second fall we saw in 2001 of course third fall we saw in 2008 and fourth fall we we saw in 2020 but in spite of all these big falls falling 100% falling 60% falling 70% still at the end of september 2020 when bse was 60000 so that's why i'm telling you a investor if he stays in the market for a longer time he will enjoy the benefits or he will enjoy the fruits of staying in the business nothing will happen in one year you take a simple example say you are starting a business in first year are you going to give anything nothing you are going to see second year something third year something maybe after 10 years you really start enjoying the fruits of hard work that same logic applies to a stock market also everybody think if you come to stock market one year i want to become a karopadi it happens but it doesn't happen every time it happens for example people are uh, taken the risk and invested in uh, 7500 during corona period they all had made very big money but it doesn't happen every time it is just like you doing a business or your or your or your you employed in a company first time you will get 10% increment second year you will get 20% then you get promotion everything goes step by step step maybe after 10 years you will become a leader of a company <clears throat> so it all takes time and nothing will happen in first year but every uh, investor the moment they want to come to stock market next day they want to become uh, asset mehta or next day they, they want to become uh, yujin wala that is not possible how it is not possible in your business how it is not possible in your uh, service the same logic applies to stock market also so why i am telling is in spite of all this scam still bsc touched 60000 points it has traveled 60 times in 3 30 years almost two times in a year that is the power of the stock market 
So investors, if you have a good selection of stocks, discipline, if you are dedicated, you will be successful as a stock market investor. And don't have big hype. If I invest in stock market today for one rupee, tomorrow it will become two rupees. The after tomorrow will be four rupees. It all happens, but not in each and every stock. In time. Sometimes what happens, you work for a company, suddenly there is an offer for you, overseas assignment, you go there, your salary goes five times, six times, seven times, eight times. But it doesn't happen to everyone. Out of 10 of your colleagues, one may get their opportunity. Similarly, maybe in one stock or maybe in two stock, you will see such a big rally, but not in all stocks. So stock market in general will give good returns for the investors who have got patience, who are disciplined, who are dedicated, and who should know about the company's fundamentals. Only those people will make money in a stock market. Okay, this is what I mean, how the stock market has traveled in the last 30 years of time. So if you are on the inverse in stock market, first of all, you should have you should be a very, very disciplined person. Some some many of my friends they say, uh, when get if a stock price goes up by 20%, I'm happy. I will come up. Fine. There are some persons they will say, I want 100 percent Yes, fine. It all depends upon your appetite. But at the same time, I have a goal. Before investing in a stock market, I want the price to go up by this time. This is my goal. When the price goes, I will come out. I am happy with my profit. So that discipline, dedication, involvement, and you should steady the company. See, for example, when you go to a, a, a shop to buy a pant or jeans, whatever it is, you see so many things. What is the color? What is this? That, 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 that. What is the price? Then you go to a trial room, see how the size fits. After all this thing, then only you come and pick that uh, pant or shirt. And the pant and shirt may cost you around 1,000 rupees or 2,000 rupees. You are doing so many analysis. But in a stock market, where you are going to invest 10,000, 20,000, you buy just like that. Somebody says to buy, I bought it. Somebody says to sell, I sold it. So your personal involvement, your personal uh, inclination is very, very important if you want to be a successful investor in stock market. I have learned only to hard times. One thing you must understand, friends, today, the everything is available in just in a button. In those days, when I used to do stock market business, we used to have only journal like Dalal Street or Economic Times. The Economic Times is printed in Bangalore. It will come to Chennai only at 1 o'clock. We will buy the paper because the paper used to cost 3 rupees in those days. It was a very big price. Three of our friends used to share and buy the paper. Similarly, Dalal Street. We used to really work hard to get information to get knowledge about the company. Now, today, is everything is available by click of a button. If you want to know about a company, you can know the entire thing about the company. So, the information is easily available. Everything is available by click of a uh, mouse or button, whatever you call it. So, everything has become very... That is the reason why we find more and more new investors, especially young investors, have come into the stock market now. But one thing I'm telling you, is COVID has done one thing good. More and more youngsters during this COVID time, they have come to the stock market. In fact, there is a leading broker in uh, India. He's called Jorda. He says new investors are more than four crores of new demand accounts have been opened. And if you see the age profile of those people, they're all between 25 and 35. 80% of the new investors today are between 25 to 35. Reason is everything is available easy. It is nothing but easy doing business. Those days, we really used to struggle. And apart from that, I don't get uh, support from my parents. My parent will throw if he sees my Dalal Street. Oh, why you are entering that? That's a bloody gambling. So many things people used to say those times. We never used to get support from our parents. But today, the youngsters are very, very fortunate. Everything is available at just by click of a mouse. And the parents are encouraging them to invest in stock market. 
I have given five lakhs to my second son to invest in stock market because I know there is a potential in the stock market. You can invest, you can make money, provided you are disciplined and you are dedicated. So these are few points I want to talk today. Maybe the next chapter, what uh, the chairman has given is about this uh, long-term investment. Then he has asked me to uh, give some few sectors uh, which looks promising for the next uh, three to five years. Uh, if time permits, I can take now itself or uh, let us ask some questions whatever uh, uh, agenda I have taken today. Maybe the other one, we can have it uh, maybe after some time, maybe a part two, that I leave it to the audience. Yeah. Now the floor is yours, sir. Sir, actually, the people, what they asked, should I put it on the screen also now? They want to know what is the bullish market, bearish market, you have, they'll explain to them. And they say that once the st stock is, the shares have been purchased, whether the company gives us any dividend and what is the basis of it. And they are telling about what are different types of shares. I think already explained to them. They are telling that you know you are telling that you know share market you again five lakhs to your son. So is but whereas most of the people they say they burned their fingers, they lost a lot of money in the stock market. So what type of you know precautions we have to take to minimize the risk? And one another person is sent one message stating that, sir, actually is it safe to invest all the money in the stock market because that too you are talking about the age group of twenty five to thirty five. They are young fellows because uh, they will be having first time earning in their life. If they invest all the money in the stock market, what happens? And yeah. one, one article says that don't put all X in the one basket. That means don't put all the money in the stock market. To minimize the risk, one expert says that you have to put some money, 20%, 25% only in the stock market. Again, real estate. Again, the gold and other things. So mean to minimize the risk. Because one sector goes up, other sectors comes down. Is it true? They are asking, sir. Yeah, this we call them as an we call them as an asset allocation, sir. Yes, sir. Asset allocation. See, that all depends upon the age, sir. Suppose uh, a boy is twenty-five years old. Yes, sir. He can have seventy-five percent exposure in the equity market. Okay. Because age is an advantage for him. Somebody is forty. Yes, he can have sixty percent exposure in the equity market. Okay. Suppose you are 70, that time you should not have more than 30% in the equity market. So whatever the pension money, can you invest all the money in the stock market? Yes. So that all depends upon the age. And you are, you are see, today youngsters, they are very aggressive people, sir. Yes, that's the problem. They got money with them. See, you have to forget what we were 20 years back or 30 years back. We were nothing those times. Yes. Today, there's a disposable income is too much for them. And you, there are different types of allocation. You can invest in real estate, you can invest in fixed income, and you can invest in uh, buying gold, or you can invest in silver also. Everything, there is an appreciation. No doubt about it. And in everywhere, you've got excellent liquidity. Also. See, more than investment, I always look into the liquidity. Suppose tomorrow, emergency, you require money, one lakh. Where you can get, if you invest in stock, you will get next day itself your money. If you invest in gold, you will get next day itself. That has got excellent liquidity. But whereas the same money you put in real estate, the liquidity is not very good. So you should also look into the liquidity. One. And when you look at the asset allocation, that all depends upon what time frame you can give. Yes, next to 20 years, I don't require this money. I got no commitments. I got uh, no my daughters to be married. I got no sons to be married or like that, anything like that. Then when the investment horizon is more, then maybe you can split. Maybe it depends. Suppose you for the 25, you can invest 70% in the equity market. Balance you can spread in the fixed income, gold, silver. And See, you should have, you should be able to accept your allocation. Alloc asset allocation is very, very important. That you And once what happened, after 25, when you become 30, you must reduce your exposure to 70. That money you must invest in gold, silver, or anything else. And the age progress. Once you become 60, you have to definitely cut down your equity exposure. And put that money. See, for example, now I'm 61, sir. Okay, what I've done is now my equity is only 40%. Yes, sir. Please support us by.
लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू डॉक्टर रतन टॉक्स चैनल